Pazuski, you'll have two minutes. I request my slides be shown full screen. I would like to make this Millie Carlson Day in the city of San Diego. Millie passed away last week in the 10th decade of her life. In her book titled The Hard Way from 2003, Millie wrote, the recommended careers for women in my family were limited to teacher, secretary, nurse, and wife. I did not like any of those choices. One beautiful autumn afternoon, I embarked on what proved to be the most important day of my life. No, I didn't discover boys, I discovered airplanes. Thus began my love affair with aviation, which has remained steadfast for over 50 years. I was pedaling my bike along a country road when I happened to notice a large billboard that had a picture of a kid standing next to a Piper Cub. It stated, you too can learn to fly. The kid pictured happened to be a boy, but that did not deter me because I felt sure they would teach girls too. I kicked the bike into afterburner and roared off down the road, uh, at the end of, to the airport. At the end of the flight line was a large red hangar. I leaned my bike against it directly under a sign that read flight school. As I walked inside the hangar, I saw a tall, skinny guy in a leather jacket talking to two young boys. The fledgling aviators were hanging on his every word. I figured the guy in the leather jacket must be a flight instructor. For the most part, he ignored me. When he finally condescended to look my way, he asked me what I wanted. I pointed up to the sign and questioned, do you mean me? He said, how old are you, kid? I'll be 16 tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. The next day, I emptied my piggy bank, jumped on my bike, and pedaled to the airport at warp speed. I bounded into the office and told the secretary I wanted to take flying lessons. She signed me up with Norm, who I talked to the previous day. He took me out to the ramp where I met the love of my life, a lemon yellow J3 Cub that had a cute little bear cub decal on the tail. Norm explained how the aircraft controls worked, gave me a brief description of the maneuvers we would practice, and suddenly I found myself flying off on my first grand adventure. Ten minutes into the flight, he asked if I had any questions. Yeah, can we do a loop? Is your safety belt fastened? Before I could answer, the plane assumed an inverted attitude. Wow. If that was what flying had to offer, I knew I would love it. I also knew I would want to do a loop every time I went flying. On my next flight, the chief instructor flew with me, let me know that he had no intention of doing loops. Thank you. Thank you. That concludes non-agenda public comment.